happy morning my dear children our next portion next lesson is unit 3 p block element 2 sulf sulfuric acid Today our learning objectives to learn about sulfuric acid preparation, manufacture, physical properties, chemical properties, some of the many reactions having about the chemical, chemical properties and uses of sulfuric acid, test for sulfuric acid and about the structure of oxo acids of sulfur. Okay, these are the areas you have to discuss. So how the sulfuric acid is prepared? Already we learned about that. Sulfuric acid can be manufactured by lead chamber process, cascade process and about the contact process. These are some process. First one is about the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process. Already we learned about that. Sulfur burns with the oxygen, we get sulfur dioxide. Otherwise, iron pyrates with oxygen or air, we get sulfur dioxide, am I right? So, there are some reactions we learned that one. That is, S plus O2, we gives SO2, iron pyrates, FeS2, plus O2 gives Fe2O3, and also sulfur. Combines with oxygen, we get SO2. How to balance the equation? This is a SLA topic, am I right? First product said make it 2 here, 2 Fe2O3. So, how much iron is there? 4 iron, so make it 4 FeS2 in the reactant side. So, now you count the sulfur, how much sulfur is there? 4 on 2 is equal to 8. So, make it the product side, 8 sulfur dioxide. Then we can be count the oxygen. 8 into 2 is equal to 16, 16 plus 6 is equal to 22. So, make it 11 into O2 is equal to 22. Am I right? Okay. Next, sulfur dioxide is also formed by the oxidizing to sulfur. Oxidized to sulfur dioxide by air in the presence of catalyst. We are taking one of the catalysts is about that vanadium pentoxide. What is the formula? V2O5. Otherwise, we can be say platinized aspartos. These are some catalysts we are using. Next, sulfur on reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. We get oleum, that is the formula is H2S2O7. Again undergoes hydrolysis with water, we get sulfuric acid. Here the sulfuric acid is obtained by this process is over 96% pure form. Then what are the physical properties of sulfur? Sul sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a colorless viscous liquid. One of the viscous liquid. High boiling point. Here, sulfuric acid is associated the sulfuric acid molecule is associated by through a hydrogen bonding. What is about the hydrogen bonding? A hydrogen combines with other element. Okay. Then acid, the sulfuric acid freezes at one of the important one weight, 283.4 Kelvin and about the boils at 590 Kelvin. It is highly soluble in water. Sulfuric acid is used as a one of the dehydrating agent. What is about the dehydrating agent? Dehydrate means removal of water molecules. Okay. Removing water molecules. Here, sulfuric acid when dissolved in water, it forms monohydrate, sulfuric acid monohydrate. Sulfuric acid dehydrates and also the reaction is going in an exothermic. What is about the exothermic? Heat is liberated. 
here a dehydrating property that is removal of water can be explained one of an organic compounds i am taking here sugar sugar means uh, sucrose what is the formula of sucrose c12 h22 o11 and another one i am taking oxalic acid oxalic acid formula cooh cooh and the formic acid hcooh these are the three acids i'm taking sorry these are the three organic compounds i'm taking one is about that sucrose uh, disaccharides c12 h22 o11 undergoes reacts with the water we get the sulfuric acid combines with the hydrogen and oxygen we get h2so4 dot 11 h2o 11 h2o plus carbon how much carbon is there in the product say 12 carbon so make it 12 carbon now the equation is balanced next about i am taking oxalic acid oxalic acid what is the formula for oxalic acid cooh cooh this one reacts with the sulfuric acid what is the formula h2so4 that c combines with the oxygen we get co that is carbon monoxide plus co2 that is c plus 2 oxygen combines to form co2 sulfuric acid and also the hydrogen combines with the oh to form water molecules so we get h2so4 dot h2o that is sulfuric acid monohydrate next we can be learn about what are the chemical properties of sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is one of the strong acid it is act as one of an oxidizing agent what happens sulfuric acid undergoes decomposition when i write in the equation h2so4 gives it is converted into hydrogen combines the oxygen to form water molecule and also we get so3 that is sulfur trioxide this area one of the very important question is about that acidic nature of sulfuric acid one of an acidic nature very 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 important question what happens sulfuric acid on reacts with sodium hydroxide due to the reaction it forms two types of salt one is about that sodium sulfate another another is one about that sodium bisulfate these are the two salt we get okay and also we get one of the salt is called as an ammonium sulfate let us we can be write the equation sulfuric acid that is h2so4 and reacts with what's the formula of sodium hydroxide naoh we get sodium combines with one of the hydrogen along with the sulfate to form nahso4 plus water molecules what is nahso4 sodium bisulfate sodium bisulfate another more equation sulfuric acid on reacts with the sodium hydroxide that is naoh we get na2so4 na2so4 am i right sodium sulfate and also hydrogen combines the water we get sorry hydrogen combines the oh to for water Product said how much sodium is there? Two sodium. So make it the reactant said two sodium. Now the equation is balanced. So one more two, one more product is also obtained. That is about the ammonium salt. How is ammonium salt is prepared? Means sulfuric acid on reacts with ammonia. We get ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate. What is the formula for ammonium sulfate? NH4 twice so4 in h4 twice so4 so how much ammonia is there product said two so make it the reactor said two 
very very important point is about that oxidizing property of sulfuric acid oxidizing property sulfuric acid is one of an oxidizing agent it produces one of a nascent oxygen one of the nascent oxygen very very important point okay sulfuric acid one of a nascent oxygen it produces a nascent oxygen there is sulfuric acid on decomposition we get hydrogen combines with oxygen we get water molecules and also sulfur dioxide gas is evolved so2 we get one nascent oxygen okay my dear children this area we have some important equations all equations are not important but we have to try to learn some area okay here sulfuric acid on reacts with some of the non metals which are the non metals here we are using carbon is carbon reacts with sulfuric acid we get carbon dioxide sulfur combines with sulfuric acid we get sulfur dioxide phosphorus combines with sulfuric acid we get phosphoric acid hydrogen sulfide on reacts with sulfuric acid we get sulfur and also sulfuric acid is easily oxidized with hydrogen hydride to form iodine and also hcbr to form bromine these are some of the oxidizing reagent oxidizing reaction let us we can we write the equation carbon reacts with sulfuric acid we get carbon dioxide co2 plus sulfur combines with oxygen we get sulfur dioxide plus hydrogen combines with the oxygen we get water molecules how can you balance the equation here product said only one oxygen is there that is sulfur dioxide to carbon dioxide to that is okay but here water having only one oxygen so make it two here two water molecules now the oxygen total oxygen is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is about the 6 so come to the come to the reactant side it is if you are making two sulfuric acid the oxygen goes to 8 am I right so sulfur also goes to 2 so come come to the product side make it 2 now count the oxygen 2 plus 2 plus 4 8 8 oxygen so come to the reactant side equation is balanced okay next about the sulfur reacts with the sulfuric acid we get sulfur dioxide so2 plus h2o so how can you balance the equation the product said only one oxygen so make it that is water molecules having one oxygen so make it two water molecules so two hydrogen two hydrogen sorry four hydrogen four hydrogen is balanced what about the sulfur in the reactant side reactant side having three sulfur so make it that is two plus one three sulfur so make it the product side three now the equation is balanced what about the phosphorus reacts with the sulfuric acid phosphorus polyatomic element p4 plus sulfuric acid h2so4 gives h3po4 phosphoric acid orthophosphoric acid don't forget the name phosphoric acid other name other name orthophosphoric acid plus sulfur dioxide so2 plus water molecule h2o so how much phosphorus p4 so make it the product said four phosphorus this equation already we learn i am right so first you have count the water molecules make it here 12 hydrogen so if you are make it 4 means 4 and 2 is equal to 8 8 plus 12 is equal to 20 20 hydrogen so come to the reactant side make it 20 sulfuric acid so how much sulfur is there the reactant side 10 so make it the product side also 10 now the equation is balanced 
now about hydrogen sulfide reacts with sulfuric acid we get sulfur dioxide so2 plus water molecule h2o that is hydrogen combines with oxygen we get water and also we get a nascent sulfur yes so how can we balance the equation the product side two hydrogen reactant side four hydrogen so make it two here the product side now the equation is balanced that is hydrogen sulfide is, is oxidized to sulfur that's a point next fifth equation sixth equation the reaction with hydrogen iodide and also reaction with hydrogen bromide sulfuric acid guys 2so4 reacts with hydrogen iodide we get it liberates otherwise it oxidized to iodine that is i2 plus that is sulfuric acid h2so4 plus hydrogen iodide gives i2 plus so2 plus water molecule h2o how can you balance the equation here having i2 am i right product side so make it 2i now the equation is balanced and about the water molecules change the water molecules to two water molecules now the equation is balanced what about the next one last one equation sulfuric acid on reacts with the hydrogen bromide we get br2 plus so2 plus water molecule h2o so how much bromine is there br2 am i right so make it the reactant side 2 hbr so how much hydrogen is there 2 plus 2 4 so make it 2 here now the equation is balanced here what happens sulfuric acid on reacts with the metal here i am taking four metals one is about the zinc metal aluminium metal copper metal and also lead metal am i right here first i am taking dilute sulfuric acid don't forget my dear children while dilute sulfuric acid it liberates hydrogen gas don't forget that i will ask the question okay sulfuric acid that is a dilute sulfuric acid reacts with the metal we get we liberate hydrogen gas concentrated sulfuric acid that is a concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with the metal we get respect to salt and also we get sulfur dioxide concentrated uh, dilute, concentrated sulfuric acid means definitely sulfur dioxide gas is obtained but in the case of dilute sulfuric acid liberates hydrogen so i will ask question please learn thoroughly dilute sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 on reacts with the zinc metal Z and we get zinc combines with the sulfate to form Z and SO4 and also liberating H2 gas. Same like I am taking aluminium, aluminium that is sulfur, sulfuric H, H2SO4 plus aluminium AL gives the respective product is aluminium sulfate aluminium sulfate what is the formula al2 so4 thrice al2 so4 thrice and also we get hydrogen gas h2 so how much sulfate is there three sulfate so make it three sulfuric acid how much aluminium is there al2 so make it two al now how much hydrogen is there 3 h2 okay now the equation is balanced don't forget this is about the dilute sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid liberating hydrogen next about the concentrated sulfuric acid sulfuric acid on reacts with copper we get copper sulfate 
along with the sulfur dioxide gas that is SO2 gas plus water molecule H2O. Total how much sulfur is there in the product side? Two sulfur. So make it two react two sulfur in the reactant side. Next about let the react with the sulfate, let the PB. PB reacts with the sulfate. That is, let the react with the sulfuric acid we get. Let sulfate, PBSO4, and also sulfur dioxide gas plus water. Total, how much sulfur is there in the react product side? Two sulfur. So make it the reactant side, two, sul two sulfuric acid. One of the important point is sulfuric acid does not react with noble metal that is a gold, a platinum, silver. Am I right? Gold, silver, platinum, these are all. You are saying noble metal. Sulfuric acid never reacts with this noble metal. Here what happens sulfuric acid on reacts with the salt that is I am taking here. Uh, two salt, one is about that, potassium chloride, another, uh, another one is about that, potassium nitrate. What is about the potassium chloride, KCl, KCl. KCl on reacts with the sulfuric acid we get, here the hydrogen from sulfuric acid combines with Cl to form HCl. What's the remaining product? KHSO4, potassium bisulfate. What's the formula? KHSO4, potassium bisulfate. Next. Another one example I'm taking, potassium nitrate, that is KNO3, on reacts with the sulfuric acid, HSO4. The hydrogen combines with the NO3, we get nitric acid, HNO3. So, what's the remaining product? K HSO4. Okay. That all of you know that on how to write the equation. Sulfuric acid can be written as HHSO4. This hydrogen combines with NO3, we get KNO3. Sorry, uh, HNO3. Next, what's the remaining here? Potassium combines with bisulfate to form KHSO4. Now the equation is balanced. Next, how we get metal sulfate? How we get metal sulfate? That is one of the reaction. How we get metal sulfate means I am taking here sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate. How is sodium carbonate prepared? Sorry, how is sodium sulfate prepared? That's a question. By the reaction between sulfuric acid, H2SO4 plus sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, we get sodium sulfate. The sodium combines with the sulfate, we get Na2SO4. Hydrogen combines with oxygen, we get water molecules and also carbon dioxide, CO2. Next one. Sulfuric acid on reacts with sodium bromide salt, sodium bromide salt, that is NABR. Here, The sodium combines with the sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid can be written as HHSO4. So sodium combines with the bisulfate to form NaHSO4 plus here also one of the sulfur dioxide gases is called SO2. Bromine is also that is sodium bromide is converted to Br2 and also we get molecule, one molecule of water, H2O. How can you balance the equation? Br2 here. Br2, so make it 2NABR. 
So how much sodium is there? Two sodium, so make it the products and also two in the right. Yes, so for total we get the three sulfur, am I right? NaHSO4 having two sulfur and the SO2 also having one sulfur, so three. So make it three sulfuric acid. So we can be right water molecules. Uh, there is two water molecules because six having the reactant side already two over sodium bisulfate and remaining two water molecules. Am I right? Next one of the very important question reaction with organic compounds. That is one of the organic compounds is I am taking benzene. Benzene C6H6. If I am writing the formula C6H6. Here, here sulfuric acid can be written as H2SO4 can be written as H2O SO3 H. What is the formula of sulfuric acid? Can you say H2SO4? This can be written as H2O SO3 H. H2O SO3 H. Can you say H2O SO3 H? So, one of the hydrogen from benzene combines with the OH to form water molecule. What is the remaining product? C6 H5 SO3 H. C6 H5 SO3 H. These are the some chemical reaction. So, here try to learn. The organic compounds, reaction with the organic compound that is about the benzene with sulfuric acid. Please all of you learn this question. Okay. Next, what are the uses of sulfuric acid? This is used in the manufacture of fertilizer. There is ammonium sulfate, superphosphate. These are some fertilizer. Some other chemicals such as hydrochloric acid. Nitric acid also used, am I right? And also it is used in uh, pigment explosive items. These are some uses of sulfuric acid. The very important question is about that. Test for sulfate. Sulfuric acid. Okay, sulfate. That is dilute sulfuric acid. I am taking dilute sulfuric acid. This dilute sulfuric acid. With barium chloride. What is the formula of barium chloride? BaCl2. BaCl2. This is the formula for barium chloride. When barium ions combines with the sulfate ions to form, barium sulfate product is obtained. It's one of the white precipitate. White precipitate barium sulfate is obtained. That's Ba combines with the SO4, we get barium sulfate. And the hydrogen combines the chlorine to form HCl. So have to balance the equation. Two chlorine, so make it two. Now the equation is balanced. Very, 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 very important question. Test for sulfate radicals. Next about another one, one more to game. Let acetate. Let acetate. What is the formula for acetic acid? CH3COOH. I am right. If I am taking two moles of acetic acid, that is CH3COOH, CH3COOH, I am right, this is acetic acid. Otherwise, we can be say ethanoic acid. Okay, anyhow, this two moles of acetic acid, I am leaving, I am removing the two hydrogen and adding one PB, that we can be written as CH3COO twice PB. CH3COO twice PB, let acetate. This let acetate on reacts with the sulfuric acid, H2SO4, we get. Let combines with the sulfate to form, let sulfate. Let combines with the sulfate to form, let sulfate. And also we get two hydrogen, two hydrogen combines with the two acetate, we get acetic acid, CH3COOH. So here, Lead sulfate is also white precipitate. So to identify the sulfate radicals present in the salt, test to far sulfate. Don't forget that test to far sulfate. Okay. Test to far sulfate. We get two 
product one is about the barium sulfate white precipitate lead sulfate white precipitate next about the structures structure of some oxo acids of sulfur oxo acids of sulfur okay first i am taking sulfuric acid what is the formula for sulfuric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid if i am reducing one oxygen taking one oxygen so what is the formula h2so3 that means h2so4 minus one oxygen we get h2so3 that product is called as a sulfurous acid say all of you sulfurous sulfurous acid what is the formula h2so3 okay so first you have to write sulfuric acid take one oxygen so what is the product H2SO3, sulfurous acid. So first you have to draw the structure of sulfurous acid. How much sulfur is there? One sulfur. So make it the center, one sulfur. Then how much oxygen is there? Three oxygen. Uh, so sulfur is surrounded by three oxygen atom. Then left side one oxygen atom, right side one oxygen atom, upper side one oxygen atom. So three oxygen is over. Next, how much hydrogen is there? Two hydrogen. So left side one hydrogen atom, right side one hydrogen atom. Now we can be make the bond. Don't forget that sulfur oxygen bond is double bond, okay? So make a double bond. Next about sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid formula H2SO4. The sulfur is at the center. Okay. So four oxygen atom is there, surrounded by four oxygen atom. Left side one, below one, right side one, up one. Four sides are over. How much hydrogen is there? Two hydrogen. Left side one hydrogen, right side one hydrogen. So make it the bond, six bond, okay? One, two. There's a single oxygen atom is there, so make it two bond. Above one, below one, oxygen, double bond, okay? Thiosulfuric acid. Thiosulfuric acid. What's the formula here? H2S2O3. What's the formula? H2S2O3. So two sulfur is there. Three oxygen is there. So sulfur first you have to surround it by three oxygen atom. Sulfur left side oxygen atom. Below one oxygen atom. Right side one oxygen atom is three oxygen atom is over. Then here have one more sulfur, make it upside. Then how much hydrogen is there? Two hydrogen, so make it left side on hydrogen, right side on hydrogen. Then sulfur, sulfur bond is a double bond. Don't forget that sulfur oxygen bond is also double bond. Okay. Next one. Dithionous acid. That means thiosulfuric acid if you are adding one oxygen thiosulfuric acid if you are adding one oxygen we get dithionous acid that formula is H2S2O4 H2S2O4 am I right so that is two hydrogen two sulfur two oxygen am I right so first you have to write two sulfur sulfur another one sulfur so make it one bond, sulfur, sulfur bond. Above the two sulfur, you have to occupy oxygen atom. So sulfur, above one oxygen, another one sulfur, above one oxygen. Then left side one oxygen atom, right side one oxygen atom. So four oxygen atom is over. So left side, how much hydrogen atom is there? Two hydrogen atom. So left side one hydrogen atom, right side one hydrogen atom. Okay, so hydrogen hydrogen is also balanced. Oxygen oxygen is also balanced. What about the bond? Sulfur oxygen bond is double bond, double bond. Am I right? Double bond. Yes, double bond O, yes, double bond O. Next. From the dithionous acid, again I am going to add one oxygen atom. So what is the formula? H2, yes, 2 O5. H2 Yes, two O five. Am I right? 
So, 2 hydrogen atom, 2 sulfur atom, 5 oxygen atom. So, first you have to write 2 sulfur atom, sulfur, then next to sulfur. How much oxygen atom is there? 5 oxygen atom. So, sulfur above sulfur 1, another one sulfur above one sulfur 1. Next, left side one, one, oxygen, one oxygen atom, sorry. First, sulfur, sulfur I am taking, above one oxygen atom. Next to sulfur, above one oxygen atom, left side one oxygen atom, right side one oxygen atom, one sulfur below one oxygen atom. Okay. Next, sulfur, sulfur, which bond? Double bond. Sulfur, sorry, sulfur, sulfur, not sulfur, sulfur. Sulfur oxygen, sulfur oxygen double bond. Am I right? Sulfur oxygen double bond. Next, sulfur oxygen, one more single bond, another one also having hydrogen. Next side, another one hydrogen. Structure is over. Next about dithionic acid. Dithionic acid. What is the formula? H2S2O6. Again, I am adding one more oxygen is to this previous compound that is about the disulfurous acid. Disulfurous acid. What is the formula? H2S2O5. If I am adding one more oxygen, so we get dithionic acid. What is the formula? Yes, H2S2O6. Okay. Next. That is six oxygen atom. First, I am taking two sulfur. How many sulfur is there? Two sulfur. Sulfur, sulfur. Okay. Bond a single bond. Next, how much oxygen is atom? Six oxygen atom. Above, above and below. I am adding two oxygen atom. One self, one oxygen atom, other oxygen atom, below one oxygen atom, other one oxygen atom. Then left side one oxygen atom, right side one oxygen atom. Next two oxygen atom along with hydrogen, hydrogen, left side, right side hydrogen. So sulfur oxygen bond, what is the bond? Double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. This also over. Next about that. Disulfuric acid, otherwise we can be say pyrosulfuric acid, pyro, what's the formula? H2S2O7, H2S2O7, pyrosulfuric acid. Pyrosulfuric acid. What's the formula? H2S2O7. What's the, what is it before we learn? Dithionic acid, what's the formula? H2S2O6. What is the formula of uh, thiosulfuric acid? H2S2O3. Dithionous acid? H2S2O4. Disulfurous acid? H2S2O5. Dithionic acid? H2S2O6. Disulfuric acid? H2S2O7. Otherwise, pyrosulfuric acid? H2S2O7. That is 2 hydrogen. 2 sulfur, 7 oxygen. Am I right? 7 oxygen. So, come to 7 oxygen atom. 7 means in between 2 sulfur, we, are, we have to arrange 1 oxygen atom. So, first you have to write sulfur, oxygen, sulfur. Am I right? So, the 2 sulfur containing 4 oxygen atom, 1, sul, one oxygen atom, other oxygen atom, below 1 oxygen atom, again below 1 oxygen atom. Am I right? So, 6, I mean 5 over. What about the next one? Left side on oxygen atom, right side on oxygen atom. Along with hydrogen, hydrogen. Bond, sulfur oxygen bond, double bond, sulfur oxygen bond, double bond. Sulfur oxygen bond, double bond, sulfur oxygen bond, double bond. Am I right? Next one. One of the very important question. Peroxy disulfuric acid. Peroxy disulfuric acid. Otherwise called a martial acid. Martial acid. What is the formula? H2S2O8. H2S2O8. What is the formula of disulfuric acid? H2S2O7. Again I am adding one more oxygen. H2S2O8. Martial. Am I right? Martial acid. So how much oxygen is there? 8 oxygen. So... In between sulfur, we have to add two oxygen atoms, am I right? 
तो सल्फर ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन अगेन सल्फर अपर एंड बिलो यू हैव टू ऐड ऑक्सीजन सल्फर ऑक्सीजन सल्फर ऑक्सीजन बिलो सल्फर ऑक्सीजन सल्फर ऑक्सीजन लेफ्ट साइड ऑक्सीजन राइट साइड ऑक्सीजन सो हाउ मच हाइड्रोजन इज देयर लेफ्ट साइड वन हाइड्रोजन राइट साइड वन हाइड्रोजन सल्फर ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड डबल बॉन्ड सल्फर ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड डबल बॉन्ड सल्फर ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड डबल बॉन्ड डबल बॉन्ड एम राइट दैट इज आल्सो ओवर नेक्स्ट वन peroxy monosulfuric acid peroxy monosulfuric acid for this learning this formula what is the formula for sulfuric acid h2so4 am i right here peroxy peroxy monosulfuric acid again you are adding one more oxygen atom so the formula becomes h2so5 h2so4 cargo acid okay cargo acid that also one of the important question Marshal acid and also cargo acid. One of the very important question. Try to learn. Then um, structure. There is a three. Sorry, five oxygen atom is there. Sulfur is surrounded by four oxygen atom. Upper one, below one, side one, next side one. Again one more, side one. Okay, so five oxygen atom is over. How much hydrogen atom? Two hydrogen atom, both the two sides. Sulfur oxygen bond double bond. Sulfur oxygen bond double bond. Okay. The next last one. Polythionic acid. Polythionic acid formula. Poly means more. Okay. More than one sulfur. We are saying poly. Polythionic acid. H two S N plus two O six. That's the formula. H two S N plus two O six. So. Sulfur that is num n number. I'm right the n number. So first you have to write sulfur. Then again sulfur n number bracket write sulfur close in the enclosed in the bracket n number. Again one more sulfur. So how much oxygen is there? H two yes n plus two O six six oxygen atom. Sulfur is surrounded by six oxygen atom. One sulfur, yabo and below oxygen. Other sulfur, yabo and below oxygen. Left side one oxygen, right side one oxygen. Left side one hydrogen, right side one hydrogen. So, these are the over. Am I right? These are the structures are over. I think that the next lesson, next sorry, next is about our group seventeen element is a halogen group, chlorine. From the halogen, we can be discussed tomorrow class. Anyhow. Today, about uh, our assignment, test for sulfate. That is the first assignment. Test for sulfate. Uses of sulfuric acid. Next, acidic nature of sulfuric acid. That is about that. Sulfuric acid reacts with the sodium hydroxide and ammonia. Acidic nature of sulfuric acid. Next about structure of oxo acids of sulfur. You have to take it and practice. This is not an important, but the marshal acid and carco acids are important. So anyhow, you have to take the written practice. Okay, structures. Okay, simply. Uh, try it on. If you have any doubt, we can be discuss later. Okay. So, okay. Thank you all for thank you. Have a nice day.